My point exactly, Jack. I'm glad you brought that up. I have been away, but I have seen the... Historical Commission is off. this? It's the little delay. Okay, and what's this? Oh my goodness, bro, I'm okay. it. Yeah. You know it's delayed. Long, you know how long it takes for them to show that I put my hand down? I just put my hand down. What's this? I guess Here we go. I guess there's no square. I can't. I 14 can't. seconds. Nice. I've got to watch my language tonight. Hey. hey hi. All right. Yes, the glam, right? Hey, yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. You got more Welcome back. Of course. How are we doing this? Are we all up here? No, we can't probably all. We're doing a PRA thing here. And then we'll go over the bird. No, I have a Hello. Is everybody going to sit up here? What do you think my hair did? We're going to go into the door. The wax at one point was running around.
Yeah, I think this is it. But is Sam coming? But I don't have any right. pending in the middle. Yeah, 517, the final call. Right. So it is uh, yes. 704. I'd like to call the, the uh, Building Facilities Commission meeting to order. Does that uh, work for you, Everett? Yes, so I'd like to call the Reading and uh, Reading Historic District <laughs> and I uh, to order. Too many yeah. have to change hats here. It would be appropriate to uh, ask uh, Virginia if she could uh, act as a full voting member tonight. I think so I could handle that. <laughs> Complement of five historical commission meetings and members in attendance. And the objective of this session is to uh, discuss the uh, preservation agreement. Uh, between the Historical Commission and uh, Criterion Child Enrichment. We've had several, several meetings, several iterations, a lot of uh, modifications and updates to the document. Uh, my understanding is that the, uh, the document now reflects essentially all of the requests that the uh, Historical Commission and the Historic District Commission have asked for. The only um, addition that Criterion um, inputted had to deal with being a little more specific about interior and exterior, and I don't think we have any, any issues with that. Uh, but I do. <laughs> uh, so at this point, I'll let, uh, I'll ask Jonathan to uh, just sort of wrap up, summarize where we are, so that hopefully we can, at the end of this session, decide to, decide to uh, sign off on the agreement and move on. Cool, thank you. I hadn't really planned to uh, go into much length about it either. I think we've, everybody received all of the copies, I believe. Um, just to sort of summarize, we had last met in mid-May and agreed to uh, several suggested changes to the agreement and we had a series of questions which we wanted to ask of town council. Um, and we agreed that I'd submit them to, uh, through the town to town council. Uh, that was done thanks to Jean. I know Julie was out uh, at that time. Um, town council came back very quickly with responses uh, which were distributed to everybody, so I don't think there's any need to go over that. Um, they had, I believe, satisfactorily addressed all of the issues that we had raised and all of the questions. There were, I, I had just one left from that conversation, which was the provision that dealt with uh, the ADA situation and the architectural um, access board section. Um, Town Council had answered the questions that we had about why they were described in the agreement different and differently, and that's because each of those two entities have different appeal processes. Um, but the, uh, the resolution still retained, Jack, I think it was you who had wanted the ability to appeal from the, uh, the determination of the Architectural Access Board, and they did retain that. There, there was no need to have, uh, to articulate any appeal process from the ADA situation because the ADA process uh, does not um, envision any need for an appeal because the, the decision whether or not to deviate from the terms of the agreement rests with the Historic District Commission. Um, and it would be up to, if the Historic District Commission um, elected to retain the requirement of the Historic District Commission and not go along with the ADA request for a reasonable accommodation, um, then it would be up to uh, it would be up to the applicant uh, criterion to uh, or the owner of the property um, to sue the historic district commission uh, regarding that reasonable accommodation denial. Um, so there was no no need for an appeal in that context, Jack. So that that resolved the situation. The only thing they didn't do was split the two paragraphs, which we wanted the two paragraphs uh, split uh, between the AAB and the ADA. Um, I resubmitted that to town council as a request that we still would like to have them do that and they agreed so they they came back and um and effectively agreed with everything so i don't i don't have it i didn't have any need to address anything else uh, unless anybody else did um with respect to the questions and changes that we had the only thing i would add is exactly as you said apparently in the interim uh 
town council uh, had submitted our version of the preservation restriction agreement to Criterion. I wasn't aware that they were going to do that until after we had agreed to it, but they apparently had. Um, and the last version that we all had seen, uh, I think about a week or two ago, uh, June uh, uh, 6th, I think, um, or may have come back uh, from Kim, I think you sent it around to all of us. Um, June, June 6th. On June 6th or June 7th. My only question was, were, were those changes, and there were very few, uh, that were included in that document, were they changes that were submitted by Criterion or by our town council? And Kim answered that question. They were, in fact, submitted by Criterion. So it appears as though, and I compared the two, I don't know whether anybody else did, but in every other respect, they had accepted all of the changes and the proposals that, um, that we had submitted through, um, through town council. So as it stands right now, the only question I think for folks to, to mull over if it requires it is, um, how people feel about the additional language that Criterion was including um, to make clear all of them did, as you pointed out, Ron, um, merely address the, um, what I think we all understood, which is that the preservation restriction agreement only pertains to um, exterior alterations or exterior modifications. Those were the only changes that they added. Uh, folks can go through that if you want to tonight. I don't know, oh, we do have it here. Uh, but that's all that it did. The only other thing that it did, um, other than making unequivocally clear that it was only pertaining to exterior um, alterations or modifications, was in the attachment B, which is that restriction guidelines example, um, in the section that, that referred to uh, exterior guidelines, they put in the word general, um, which didn't present any problem to me, but th that was the only other change that they made. So, I... Yeah, there were, there were only two sentences that they added. If you want to bring up, can you bring up page two? The red section. They uh, apparently wanted to be clear regarding our understanding of exterior and interior influence. The sentence that they added was this. It says, down a little bit, uh, closer to the bottom of page two. Can yeah, it's the bottom paragraph, th therefore, oh, you got right it. There. It says, and it's not in red in that, yeah, but got the, the last sentence says, and, and, and this is new, I don't have any problem with it, I think it's fine, <clears throat> personally. This preservation restriction shall not apply to changes to the interior of the premises that do not harm the structural integrity of the building and do not affect the characteristics that contribute to the architectural, archaeological, and historical integrity of the exterior of the premises. And a, a paragraph or a sentence similar to that has just been added to, to the attachment B. Frankly, is my understanding anyway. Right. They did add the word exterior in a couple of places uh, within the document, but it, again, it's exactly the same thing. It's just simply to say that, um, for example, uh, the grantor agrees that no alteration shall be made to the, and they added exterior of the building. So I think they're pretty minor. So does Virginia, you may have an issue with this? Uh, just a comment. Go, please make a comment. Thanks. I think um, the material I received, it looked like um, Eric had put in all the words for exterior. Um, and so that was really our council that did that, whether he was cleaning up or whatever. So um, I didn't realize which part uh, Criterion ha attorney had put in, but that's okay. I just have a general concern that this preservation restriction will serve well for the business with Criterion, and I've commented before, I'm trying to look out into the future um, for subsequent owners. And my concern is that we did make it so explicit that it is only to the exterior, which I know we had come to a consensus on, there leaves no um, interpretation for future people to try to work on the interior. Um, I'm expecting that considering the intended use, they'll have to make, they will need to make in order to accommodate the AAB and ADA, uh, significant mod modifications to the interior. That's criterion. Yes. Um, in, uh, in, on page seven, um, number 16, the restriction that we have in place here runs with the land, etc. 
except as otherwise provided within the burden of these restrictions enumerated in paragraphs 1 through 15 inclusive shall run with the land and is binding upon future own and owners of an interest therein. So I think the, my take is the property is pretty well protected regarding a, you know, a preservation. I don't see that we'd need to make any adjustments. I just want it known that I think by being so explicit on the exterior, we've precluded what could happen in 50 years. So are there any other comments from the HDC or RHC? If I may, just I don't have any comments on the on the substance of the of the document, and I want to belabor it. But but we had earlier on when the historical commission was involved, we had asked that, and we weren't allowed to have our own photographer there, and we had asked for um, some photographs that were documentation of the interior. Did we ever get them? Does anybody know? I've never seen them. All right. Because the only thing I'd say yeah. is, is I mean, we, we could, uh, it's certainly not a condition or a requirement or anything, but if we want to, and our historical commission can discuss that at another time, but I mean, we can resubmit our request to the current owner just for, for a copy of those. There's nothing in my mind, if we were to get them, because that would be the only documentation of the, of the interior, and I would think it would be a good in, uh, documentation of the interior. We could, I presume, at any point, since it's still, um, falls under to some degree, not with respect to this agreement, but generally because it is on our inventory, it does come on to some degree under the Reading Historical Commission mm -hmm. purview. Um, we, we could at least request to, um, to either document uh, or to inventory the, the material that's there, but it shouldn't hold up this process. Yeah, I'd be willing to make that request. I'm quite sure that since we were not permitted to, make, to take photos when we took the tour, they took an abundance of photos. So it should be a simple matter of just asking them, and I'm sure they will respectfully comply. Right. And they did say so, they, they agreed at the time. So on that basis, if there are no further... Well, I was just going to comment that initially when the negotiations were going on, uh, the criterion had said that they would log their activity there inside the building to keep a log of what changed, and did. I don't know how strong they will be about doing that. And there are also some pictures in the Epsilon report <coughs> They probably won't show the real specifics yeah, we were on, that's right. that we would be looking for. You know, I haven't dug through that document, but I know they're, they're rather complete. Yeah. Are, as I said, there are pictures, but not really close-ups of things you might really want. Mm -hmm. specifics. So regarding the preservation restriction agreement, are there any more comments, objections, support, whatever? And if not, I'd like to receive a motion to um, accept and sign the document. Mr. Chairman, I would assume we probably need two motions, one from the Reading Historical Commission, I assume, since this is a joint meeting, and one from the Historic District Commission. I mean, is that everybody else's understanding? Go ahead. So I'd be happy to make the motion on behalf of the Historic Reading Historical Commission um, that we accept um, this document. I guess we should refer to it as the one dated uh, June 6, um, 2017, um, for our purposes um, for execution by, um, by the uh, designee of the Reading Historical Commission. Second. Eyes? Any objections? Okay. I would like to accept uh, a motion from the uh, Historic District Commission, uh, in essence, to do the same. Okay. Anybody want to make that motion? <laughs> Somebody want to make that motion? So moved. So moved. Second? Second. Okay. All of those in favor? Aye. Five. Five, zero, right. zero. So, Gene, I'll, uh, I'll need to get a clue from you or Julie as to uh, when to show up at the town hall to, to notarize my signature on the, the RHC portion. And somebody needs to get the criterions, and then somebody needs to get Mass Historical signature on the document as well. So just give me a clue as to when that, when that can be done. Okay. All right. One more comment. Um, I heard, and I can't report for fact, that um, Criterion has difficulty uh, with the uh, bonding that they were looking for, for um, the amount of money that they paid for the property, and so that may be holding them up a little bit, too. And meanwhile, the Mass Historical uh, Commission sent a letter today to Criterion essentially 
indicated that there were no issues and, and obstacles ahead of the project. Quote, it's no adverse effects. That's the key. By having, the, by having the uh, criterion business on the property. No adverse effect, effects to the property itself. Yeah. Okay, can we um, adjourn? Can I ask a clarification? Does the historic district also have to sign that? No, there's only three signatures. Yeah, that's historical good. criterion and, and a representative good. from that's historical. From mm -hmm. historical. Mm -hmm. And at a prior meeting, um, a vote was taken to designate me as the person to sign it. Currently, act, I mean, the acting chair. But anyway, the signature should be valid on that basis. Right. Yes, ma'am. And for the point, um, it should be noted that I serve on both commissions, and the town council said that I could vote uh, as both on the historical commission and the, okay. uh, in case anyone in the public was concerned about it. Excellent. Move to adjourn? Well, we're not adjourning. You're moving. Move to adjourn. You guys, I think, are adjourning. We're simply no, moving we're to another room. We're staying here. Okay. Oh, you're staying here? You're continuing? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, we're moving right. to the burger room. Burger, okay. All right. yeah. so we what does Virginia do then in that sense? I have to go to town clerk, I guess. I'll be halfway in there. <laughs> you can run back and forth. Yeah. Can I get some roller skates? <laughs> I'm leaving, I'm leaving your meeting. Oh, yeah, Jackie, too, right? Yeah. yeah. Not a fair with a friend after all. Well, I'm a member of that and a associate. And you're the reverse. Right. right. Okay. So we just have to make sure that we keep the qualms. Yes. Yeah. We're sucking it out. Good time now. Thank you. Good to see you guys. I some oh. business yeah, for down yeah. there, yeah. too, so I'll scoop down. Not the personal guys, but I'm uh, sucking it out. Because he rides off yeah. into the sunset. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It? Did you second it? Yes. I did. I did yeah. <laughs> Ask him to see it. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of work done already. Yeah. Um, well, what were you saying about the bonding? So I tried drawing. to find yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's not germane. I can't really read. It because it was just hearsay. Yeah, I couldn't find anything on. I looked up on oh, yeah. Google. I googled a million things. I couldn't get mm -hmm. into it. Um, okay, we have a few things on the agenda, a regular agenda, um, yeah. what I call a general meeting. So I'd like to uh, move down through those um, and uh, see if we have something. No, oh, somebody moved. It has not shown up. Okay, um, I have a um, application here. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, this is 156 West Street. Um, My neighbor. It's the little cute cape that used to have the garden in front. Um, red. Used to be red. Huh? Used to be red. It's not red yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if I can I find it. I like the little English yeah, garden. little cape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it on the corner. Yeah, right yeah. next door for me on the corner of Howard. Mm. Oh, that was so pretty. It had oh, an English garden, like an English garden was, yeah. You yes. know, he wiped that all out. Yeah. <laughs> he wiped it all out. That's the building and that's the shed as it used to look. Mm -hmm. um, he did the inside it? all over, too. He did, he did some nice stuff, but... No, is this on Howard Street? So this is Howard right on here, him. and then I'm on that corner right there. So this is west, coming up west, and if you take a left on Howard right there. It's on the southbound side. Yeah. It's on the west side, south corner. Yeah. Okay. So where's the shed? I think it's on. I think it's behind In the it. back? In the back. And so you yeah. don't really see it from oh. West Street. You do see it you from West Street. You see it from West Street a little bit. Um, back there. But you wouldn't see it now because he took it down. <laughs> you see it from the highway too. <laughs> took it down. It was nice of him to do this. All done. Okay. It was nice of him to actually. He got um, coerced a little bit. Okay. <laughs> um, he uh, he took the shed down. Um, you can see it's that's probably 15 years ago. That picture, 10 yeah. to 15 years ago, and he was having trouble with it. And um, I noticed that there was some new construction going on out there, so I suggested that he be contacted to make sure that he had the proper certificates and permits. And um, he has very nicely cooperated uh, to do that to make everybody's life. Like it should be. Um, 
And so what you have here is an application to build an 8x10 shed. Um, noting that the first one is already down, and the second one is already, the floor He's is already up. framed it. So. Uh, he's got the floor up, and um, on, fellas. Um, I guess um, I'd like to hear some discussion. Are there any criteria that you'd like to put on him at this particular point because you have an application to put up that shed? No. All right. Now, is this shed going where the other one was? Right. Yeah, actually, yeah. That, this is the plot plan. It shows oh, you where it is or will be. Maybe a slight variation in size. I'm not sure. Okay. It looks more yeah. like a 6 yeah. by 8 Looks more like originally a six by eight to me, and that's, this looks like an eight so by ten. So you're seeing it from here. Right, you're seeing it from West Street, right down yeah. to the left of the building. No, ever is it non-applicable because of the age of the house, so it doesn't matter because he's not touching the house. Ooh. It's a new. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, it's, it's seventy years, so is it seventy or seventy-five? Seventy. Seventy. Well, that's one reason why I didn't go knocking on his door and press him to. I'm going to be excused if I may. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Um, 50? 50? Well, it's 50. It's almost there. Well, if that's right, and I didn't check it. Oh, uh, interesting. It's supposed to be 70 years, right? Well, it's 67 right now. Yeah. But that's, that's correct, so. He still has to come before us and get right. a permit. That's right. got a certificate, okay. so. Um, and, um, Using cedar shingles and clapboard siding matching the existing structure. I assume he means the existing structure of the house, not the existing structure of the building that's gone. <laughs> okay? So um, I have no no problem that we just move along and except I will check that it's yeah, just 70, to see if it would go as a seventy years. Okay. That's something that I need to do. I found that no matter how many times I check everything, I haven't checked everything I should. It's very difficult, folks. Um, Where do you actually check? Um, well, technically, the inventory has that information, and I can check online um, under the, uh, go to the town writing, go to the assessor's office, go to the page for 156, and it should have an approximate date. That's the best that I can okay. do on it. I don't have any maps or anything. Um, do you need a motion on this? Uh, it would be nice just to make sure. It would be a certificate of um, Appropriate, appropriateness at this point, but it could be non-applicable. Well, it's not applicable if it's under right. 70 years. Right. So I think we'd actually go with that. The non? Non, and okay. if it's a real problem, we can deal with it. Okay. So I can. Well, you can also look at the fact that he's putting back up a shed. It's not exactly in kind. It's pretty close, but it's not exactly in kind. So I can't really do it as non-applicable that way. Hmm. But so it either be close appropriate. my left eye. I just had my eyesight test and make sure we get it. Um, I think it's just good that we caught it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so we're doing appropriateness. Uh, Without doing any digging, that's the easiest way to do it. Mm. Is appropriateness or not applicability? Appropriateness. If, if you... Um, if you think it's because, over 70. If you think it's over 70, but if you're trusting that it's I'm less than 70... I think I'm trusting that it's... Yeah, then I guess it would be not applicability. Not applicability, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. so move uh, to grant permitting for uh, the application for non-applicability. Uh, to replace the existing shed. That should be changed there instead of update. Right. <laughs> and if you do non-applicability, could you still enforce an abutters le letter? Or is that only if it's appropriate? Well, it's only if it's appropriate. Okay. Non-applicability mm -hmm. means they have... Right, right. they don't yeah. have to... Carte blanche. They don't have to. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure of that. Right. Okay. That's all set. Okay, so I move that. Does somebody second it? I need a second. I second it. Okay. Priscilla seconded. All those in favor? Any for the position? Four, zero, zero. No, I'm just going to say. Okay. Two, six, fourteen. Um, 
Indianapolis. Um, we have a um, commit here. Oh, wait a second. There was something here from the floor he had. Is that 19? Now it's 1955? The same house? Mm hmm. Where did he come from? I wanted to see the date I have on it. The 156? Yeah, 156. The same guy. 155, Michael Carpenter. Installation of a new roof. But that's. That's um, like that's, repair. That's repair maintenance, yeah. so that's not really an issue. But see how that date, yes. that date. Uh, and we moved it from that, appropriate to non applicability. Well, that 55 makes it even younger. Mm. Yeah, so it doesn't mm. really affect anything. Well, it's funny how I, you know, I filed these, and I guess that, that came up. Uh, I didn't go back to see if he had any other. It says it in Sassing, 1950. Oh, does. oh nice. Yeah. No. And, and he, he made it younger on another occasion. Well, often they do is what the, uh, the real realtor. estate dealers mm -hmm. have given them for information. So. Um, are all the same, correct? Yeah, because you gave us five. No idea. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Heavier. These are like 12 copies. Um, I probably don't have it with me, but uh, this is 215 West Street. Mm, I have another one. Mm -hmm. Right. That's... Yeah. Did they already do that fence? Is that the house sheds. There? They, had, they did mm -hmm. sheds. Am I on the right corner? I know one yeah. corner already did. Yeah, on Prescott. Yeah, down Prescott. This, this. Well, this is Callan, but they have three different Callans that yeah. run it. Right. There's the father. The and red, the and then the red yellow one. that's set back with the other properties on. Is that them too? No, the yellow one. Uh, well, the, no, the orange one that sits on the corner of Ruben and Prescott. And then the yeah. shingled one that's on the corner oh, of wow. Ruben and okay. West. Um, that's two boys. Um, so this is 215. Um, oh, this was the shed disaster one. Right, that's the shed disaster mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So we've already issued um, a uh, certificate of appropriateness to remove that those, those sheds. Right. But that's run into a little bit of a hang up <laughs> um, because. It's um, that red house. Yeah. They. Um, they have critters in the shed. <laughs> I guess that invo involves the Board of Health or something yeah. at this particular point. So they're trying to figure out how to get rid of the critters or how to do it, deal with it. So there's that problem. And so they, they will have a different notification that has to go out. So they have not turned in their envelopes for the removal of the shed to go out to the batteries. Mm -hmm. okay? I'm not sure exactly how if you're familiar. I write a note that says what they've done and they're given a, a list of the abutters within 300 feet. And um, initially we thought it was just small sheds and not really a problem, but I guess it's a little bigger and stuff like that. So the, um, they're gonna have to get a, a demolition permit and because of the critters in it. Uh, so we give them a mailing list of who's in the 300 feet and then they have to put the letter, they have to turn them in with stamps and stuff like that and then we send it out to them. But, they also want to do the fence repair. Now, um, there's no building permit required on a fence six feet and under, but we do have jurisdiction over fencing. So if they do it in kind, like it is, um, we can honor that request um, because they're going to be putting it up in the same location at the same heights, same style fence. I haven't really looked at it since this just came in technically yesterday or today. Um, oh, it says June 
Um, yeah, yesterday. Um, they, didn't include, they didn't say what style of fence, if it's going to... Right. Uh, they, did, they did include pictures. Mm -hmm. but, but the, the, existing, is this but the, the existing. existing fence is different in different places. Yeah. Right. So it's going to be a little bit hard to do it in kind unless they do it different in different places. Mm -hmm. Which I don't think they're going to do. Yeah. Um, so they need a certificate of, um, and I did not inform them of a meeting tonight because this just came in yesterday and I put the other things on the meeting. Um, I guess if you have recommendations, I will go to them and just make sure that you're aware of it, that if they do it in kind, they have to keep it in kind, and they have that right to do that um, and repair that fence if it's in disrepair. Well, if they're talking about replacement, I think we need to clarify to them that it has to be in kind. Yeah, what material, what style? I mean, we have yeah, Well, in kind is what exactly. Right, if they yeah, say. It doesn't that's say right. that. It does not say and that. And we need that so clarification. I need, I need that clarification. Yeah. And yeah. the instant they do that, you give them the authority to, to me to say, okay, you can do it. Mm -hmm. But if they don't, then they've got to come in on another meeting. And what if they tell you, right, so if they're going to differ, then come in, then they then what, then just yeah. replacing in kind? Okay. Right. And then we could put the, if it is different, they have to send out an about us letter. We could put the two about us letters in the same yeah. envelope and they could send them out. I don't know if they can get that all done in the next week or so. Okay, but we'll see what happens. On that. And if we, if we couldn't meet with them, could you settle this with them? I don't know. Um, if they said... I technically can't. If we... If they said it's going to be wood material and it's going to be four foot... All stockade, all four foot... Yeah, all, all matching. All wood, you know, all matching. Right. I, when I talked to Steve, who's in the orange house, they were going to put up exactly the same as butting their fence. But now, all of a sudden, it's around the whole property on that side. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> and I, it has stockade on the street side mm -hmm. all along There's there. A block kind of thing. Yeah, it is visible. Yeah. At six foot, it's tough to be visible on that inside fence near the pool, what well, used to be a pool in there and near the sheds. Yeah. So I don't know if I can answer your question correctly. If you put limitations on it that you want it all the same, all wood, um, in the present location, and you vote that or you make that in, that's what I'll tell them you have to yeah. do, and then I could write it. Yeah, if they want to, if right. they don't agree with that, they come in front of the board and they'll discuss come to the board and change it. Um, I well, think we could do that. When we say in kind, are we talking about the design or the materials? Both. Oh, yeah. Both. I'm not so sure people understand that. Oh, they, they are told very distinctly <coughs> that in kind means that it has to have the same architectural features, the same style, and the same material. Okay. And I go using beyond that by saying no plastic, <laughs> no synthetic wood. Um, we have on occasion certain things like floor materials said pressure treated was allowed because of the just. It's basically a safety issue, almost. Yes, yeah. Um, and it's on the ground or on the floor, so it isn't. Um, so if somebody wants to put a motion on the floor that there's a consistency in the fence, that there's a, it's an all-wood product, um, and the style all remains the same, um, then it would be a certificate of appropriateness. Uh, definitely both houses are not under 70 years, so. Um, we yeah, could that. Could that be the motion right there? Yeah, I would second that. Okay. No, you'd say it, and somebody else would second it. If they were to replace the fence, wood product, wood product, consistent, consistent, four foot, four to six some foot. six, four, it's, some is six. I think it's all six. I'm not sure. The one on the street didn't look like six. Yeah, it looks shorter. I, I yeah. think that's six. Well, look at the left one, the bottom left. Yeah, that's two feet right, right that's like, there. That's difference, like yeah. I think that's yeah, four. A little difference yeah, the, yeah, the panel would. <coughs> well, <coughs> either four or six. Right, because I think this, the less height you put in there, the better off we should like it. Yeah. Okay, so if they want to work four along the thing and six on the inside, I don't think really the height is as much of an issue. In fact, like to stay away from the six on the street. 
Um, okay, so consistent in style, make it all stockade, make it all whatever. Okay. Consistent style. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Of a consistent wood style, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, in the four to six range. In the four to six range. Okay. Okay, second. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Okay. We'll deal with that. Um I have two more. Um, let's see if we can. Did I make a mistake with the other thing? No, I don't know if I've got more than one copy of this. No, I don't. I have one copy. I don't have one. I have an uh, application here uh, for. Um, Seventy nine eighty one West Street, and um, we have had things 79? there. Seventy nine. Well, seventy nine eighty one. It's a it's a duplex up by the Theophanis House near the uh, County Road intersection there with the Brown House. Oh, okay. okay I, I haven't can, seen. I don't have anything. There. Well, I maybe you don't. No, I have a ninety three. Six. Yeah, they, they've come in. Steps over. Something there? No. That brown house is looking tough as I go by, too. Why don't I have that here? I think that is 86. Yeah, that was the one that had the air conditioners they wanted. I thought I had a picture of it. Don't seem to. Did he do the porch in the back? Was that guy? No. That's across the street from well, the other side. Okay. No, that's on the same side. That's on the it's on, it's on the, the same side, side as him? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's across the street from the Infantis. It's the duplex. Uh, no, she put on a roof a couple of years ago and we kind of caught it. It went on uh, without a certificate. And um, she made three applications over a period of time. Well, the roof went on without us, <laughs> so then it was written in the RIAs. Um, that was in um, January of 2015, uh, December 17th, 2014. And um, that was when she did a, the roof over. Is that the leaking one? And they had to do it right away? Well, that's kind of the excuse we got. Oh, okay. Then she did another one on um, 1 8 2015, and she was going to paint the house. And again, painting isn't under our jurisdiction, so there was no big deal about it. And we issued that. We issued a certificate on it, um, but she never did it. And then she had one that was out of sight. She was going to change two windows in the back, and that was in three. 2015. Um, so the situation is she wrote this application because she's going to paint the house and repair the roof line soffit, which requires repair. First of all, it doesn't just paint the house, now it's got some repair on it. Um, repair and replace only one, uh, only no architectural changes will be made, is what she says. House is to be unpainted entirely. And then she wrote um, this note that she had written us on May 23rd. And um, I never received it. As far as I concern, Ann or anybody else down at Town Hall didn't receive it. We don't know where she sent it, but she did state the email here, but we never received it anyway. Um, and she said that she had, uh, that we had approved the same project in 2014. 
Well, actually, um, if I've got that right, it wasn't 2014. It was 2015 um, is when she put the notice in. So I went back and I found it, and we did approve the painting of the house. Okay. Um, but again, we've got some repairs. So if the repairs go in kind, I can write it because we don't really have jurisdiction over the, the paint. And she actually gives the colors and stuff that she's going to use here. But um, marooned, antique white, etc. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I have no problem with it, providing that the repairs are in kind. Are they visible? Um, yeah, I believe some of them would be. Well, the window so the soffit is is this? Yeah, yeah. It's the void behind the gutter. Yeah. Okay. Um, not very visible, but again, specification of no plastic. Um, that would be the only recommendation. I'd say. Why didn't they do it when the roof was being done? Um, And again, she doesn't know about the meeting tonight because I haven't got a hold of her because I just got the thing mm -hmm. today, you know. And I am trying to clean things up because I'm going away. <laughs> Good for you. Good. Okay. So, uh, again, um, I'm just letting you know about this one because if it's true maintenance and painting and done in kind, I can write it. Is it normal repairs? Yeah. Yeah. And the house is over 70 years old. Okay. okay? The only other one I have, and I just received this email today, if I can find it here now. Watch me not be able to find it. No, I can't find it. It's like holding and finding it. Yeah, I know. This is worse. <laughs> there was nothing worse than that. Well, what did I do? What did I do? Um, Just had it in my hand here, so uh, uh, I have a request for information uh, from um, 160 Summer Ave, which we have done. They've done fence work there. We've done window work there. Um, it's on the corner of uh, Summer Ave and King. King. Yeah. Um, is that in the district? Yes. yes that it white is. one next to Garrett Love here. The white one with the big barn in the back? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay, everybody kind of knows yeah, that. There's a fence in the pool. This is kind of going to be a first for the district. Um, he wants to have any information about um, adding solar panels to the, wow. to the house on the south-facing roof. Wow. Um, and I did call him back today and said solar is under the jurisdiction but we have no control on it. So he has to notify us it's going to be done. I also did fair warn him that um, he had to probably talk to RMLD because... Um, buy it back, right? There, it's a municipal. Um, I don't know that. that um, since we're a municipal, the rules are different than some other towns, and that makes the rules different, that makes rebates different, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, so you need to, to look into that. Um, I did notice there's a house on Woburn Street that has a full exposure on the west roof. Now, it's very high, so you don't really see it. Um, but um, we have no jurisdiction over solar anyway, so it can be just written. But I w want us aware oh, of the fact. Just that dealing with the little ex this porch that we were dealing with. About in this back area yeah, here. But yeah. again, there's trees, and I don't know yeah, what. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I yeah. Okay. Yep. That's it. So what do we do with that about that? There's nothing you really can do except if it's approved, if he finally goes to do it, he has to have a certificate, that's all. Is that a building certificate or one from you? Well, I would assume he has to have a building certificate on it anyway. But it, no, he has to have a certificate from us before he can get a building certificate. I see. Wow, he's done a lot of work. Yes, that's right. Mr. Anybody have any other questions before we do the last thing on the agenda? These are your minutes for all meetings except tonight's. <laughs>
Winter having a seizure yet? Yes. I get like kind of We are not. So we have minutes here. And I think that we have them in somewhat of a corner. Um, Wait, which one are we starting with? What do I have on the top here? I'm kind of all mixed up here. October. Which last year? No, no, a lot of the moon. October, April, May, May. I just read. I don't do Gelt states well. So. Uh, what do you want to start with here? Um, this, um, the first one here is uh, October 17th, 2016. It's the railing that we put on the Hertzler's house and stuff like that. Um, if anybody, I tried to email you and tell you what dates they were and told you I'd have a hard copy here. So why don't you give it a quick read and see if you've got any notes on it. I have none on that one that I remember. Okay. We have to approve the minutes. Oh, I see. Where that's, that's all it is. It's approval of minutes. And we just, with all these long meetings for this other thing, we just have not done. Oh, I see. And I've been gently reminded we need to do that. So, what did you circle down there? Um, the, just the, is, is too brittle a verb? Yes, if it was will so, brittle. and will be brittle. And will be brittle or yeah. become brittle or yeah. something like that. What, what page? Page one. Page one. Okay. What, what really is it? Uh, uh, next to the last line at the bottom. Yeah. It says, uh, this person asked if a similar, is if it was similar to vinyl and will become brittle or something like that. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay? Yeah. Thanks. I didn't think it was. Will brittle. Yeah. I don't think we ever did find out what they did plant for trees up there. Oh, I haven't read that. What are we doing trees? Oh, I see. <coughs> on the, Kim, on the page two, where it says draft, um, the first bullet there, the members would like a copy of Amendment A and Amendment B. Is it Attachment A and Attachment B? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What are you reading? Where are you reading that? Exactly. So. Oh, oh, we're doing a different. Uh, uh, he and I are reading a different one. Did I go to? Well, listen. We're reading we October. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are reading something, and they're reading something else. I thought we were in October. So did 17th. I. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, everything great. looked good in October. We're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on. We're moving on. We're on to bigger better things. Well, yeah, yeah, but don't, don't you have to approve them separately? You can't just blow them all together. I'm just wondering why there's an approval of minutes. How much the minutes? Oh, that's the minutes for the July 11, 16. That's even earlier. All right, okay. So we approve the minutes here. And we did a bunch of approvals in here, so we're all set as far as that's concerned. Mm -hmm. Any other questions on um, October 17, 2016? No. Uh, you need only the one correction of Will Brittle. <laughs> okay. Um, all those in favor? Okay. okay. Then we'll move on to um, April 26, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the draft one? 186 yeah. Summer Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. God, we're never going to hear the end of that. That place. Oh, I don't think we have. I don't, I am I would bet you anything. It'll be yeah. more, more. They're going to be sitting out there again. Yep, yeah, there'll be more stuff. I just can't imagine it's over with. Corrections on um, April 26, 2017. Well, I, I've cheated. I've been, mm -hmm. and I don't, do, I don't read particularly well anyway. So. Yeah, on page two, um, that was, yeah. is, is it an attachment? Did we refer to it as attachment everywhere, not amendment? Okay, right, attachment everywhere? I think it was. Because I think that's what they've been discussing. Right? Yeah, so I'll attachment. Change, I'll change them all to attachment. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. What happened with the 146 summer? Uh, he withdrew his application. That's the, um, the, the... They put the big fountain. Yes. Yeah. The Whipple, uh, on whip, the corner. Whipple House. Or, no. no. Um, Why didn't, where were they going to put a pool there? Yeah. On that right-hand side. You look from summer looking at the house. That's like wide. the front yard. Yeah. It's such a pretty property. It is, but oh. I, I can see... Actually, I personally can see the fact that if you had like a reflecting pool, it yeah. would it meant, but it's so crowded in there. Right. And, uh, no, such and then there was that and I don't think they have the, the sideline requirement. Let's see, I was going to say that too. So, and then you have a fencing issue. It's required for fencing That's for right. a pool, a six foot fencing. So, you're not going to get a reflecting pool with a six foot fence <laughs> around an eight foot wide pool. But so, that was that is the property though. Right. Okay. And I have, he gave us folders with all the applications. <laughs> my guest at home. Okay. Okay. Motion to approve the minutes for April 26, 2017. Second. Second. Okay. All those in favor? With with the understood correction. Amendment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Amendment. Okay. okay. Uh, we're now on May 10th.
I'm on the second page of that one, about in the middle, so mm -hmm. Mr. Blodgett referenced a, a report. Um, yeah. That was the Epsilon report. Epsilon? Yeah, E-P-S-I-L-I-O-N. Okay. Just so that yeah, somebody I, would know. I didn't know what it was. Okay, thank yeah. you. Um, I didn't actually say I know the date on that report, but the people should know what that was anyway. Okay. okay. That gives a better reference on that. Mr. Blodgett polled his commission. Poll, poll, poll. P O L L. Where's that at? Uh, about four lines from the second top. Second page, about four lines from the top of the second paragraph. Okay, P O L L. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was pole vaulting, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think we swallowed the pole. I think we did too. Yeah. Anybody else? Did they ever move the gas can? That they have is not. Adam's asked. They have that. not. It's still sitting there. Where was the gas? Um, I asked the fire oh, department. They have no jurisdiction over it. Not even inside the barn. Inside, outside, has nothing to do with it. It's a legal, it's the amount that it holds. There are two of them there, but they're separate. Um, it's just a temptation. But mm. And when you start to look, um, house, all the porch stuff was vandalized on Summer Ave the other night. They took their lawn furniture and threw it all Ooh. over the place. 186? No, uh, someplace else right up on Summer Ave. And um, they took the wreath off the door and threw it. They took the flag down. They, it's this oh, one so person's it's kids. kids. Vandalize it? Is it? Well, it doesn't really vandalize it. just kind of moved everything around. No. You know? Um, people don't realize Is it, it. Isn't this the fire department problem? Yeah, but we've already contacted the fire department. I, I contacted our it's, assistant chief. It's not a quantity, and it's in a container that's appropriate container, so you can't do much about it. And even with the heat creating excessive... You can call Paul Jackson. I, I did it when we had this meeting. I didn't yeah. follow up with he said, nope, there's nothing we can do. Mm -hmm. Wow. If it's, it's close to being a vacant property, and I think maybe something can fall on it. Well, let's have a protest that it's a vacant <laughs> property. Oh, man, how stupid. Do you know, a couple of weeks ago, when they had that bomb scare on television yeah, in Reading on Summer Rabbi, yeah, I said, yeah. oh, my God, that's 186 they're going to bomb it. <laughs> <laughs> I must have been in New York. I didn't hear that. They just said Summer Avenue. Well, oh. it was Rachel, Ra after Rachel, Rachel Road. Yeah, Rachel. Wow. Down by Joshua Eaton. One house in, um, he's mowing his lawn and he found a six inch tube with caps on it with wires. Oh, yeah, stuff. and that's all it was. Yeah. A, pi a pipe with tube with mm -hmm. wires. Yeah. and stuff. Um, Rick, uh, okay, this looks fine, except for poles and pools. They, uh, Say, uh, motion. Uh, motion. Uh, motion. Motion to um, motion to approve the minutes as amended, with, as amended for 51017. Second. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? 400. Zero, zero. Moving right along. Moving <laughs> very much along. The uh, 517 2017. This is all recent stuff and I wish I understood it. Who's Jonathan Barnes? The man that was sitting right up where Greg's sitting. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's his name? Yeah. He's uh lives about two or three houses from me. Likes to talk. Yeah? Yeah. Is he an attorney? Yes. yes. Yeah. Attorney for MIT. Does he live on Boyd Street or uh, Pratt, Pratt Street. Pratt Street. Really? Where the rich people live. <laughs> 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 we will move the words.
shit. Yeah, I'm trying to think of menacing animals. Oh, man. They are. What are they? Foxes? Don't know what they are. I don't know. I don't know. I just heard it. Oh. Fox went through my yard three days ago. Yeah. Wow. Sitting at the window and watching the fox run right. <laughs> To so note that the commission having discussed monthly meetings, Mr. Blodgett had like the members to review the town website and look for documents that we need to change from West Street Historic District to Historic District Commission. Emphasize, emphasize, emphasize. Okay? Because that's going to be on the agenda soon. Sorry, what's going to be on the agenda? We're doing, having a public hearing to make sure we take out West Street Historic District. And oh, oh, that, oh, oh, the wording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that wording stuff. And really, I have to have a few examples so we can make sure. Oh, you've got another example you can write down. If we don't go in with some, um, and they do occur, and then we'll just have a public hearing. Nobody will show up, and everybody will be all set. We'll get it done. Um, Move to approve the minutes of the 17th of May. Second. Second. Other than any discussion, we're now all those in favor. Was there a zero? And we're happy. We are. Okay. Um, <clears throat> not for general public information, but I will be leaving a week from Monday, approximately, for about one to two weeks. Two weeks. Oh. Um, I'm going to try and get all the certificates written so that they could be filled in at date received, date issued, um, and get them all up to par. That way it's a 10-day notice and somebody will receive them, send them out to you, and somebody will just have to notify them that they are subject to review or not review. And we'll set a date after that. Unless you want to set one while I'm gone, that's fine too. And uh, where are you going, Mr. Chairman? Going to um, Glacier yes. uh, Park and then up to Waterton, which is the, uh, the Canadian portion of Glacier. Nice. And then we're going to take a picture of Thomas Sweetser of Summer Ave to um, the monument and the, uh, the museum service uh, of Acosta's Last Stand. Get I out. found a picture of Thomas Sweetser from Reading. I found it in Kentucky. And um, Get out. It's, it's awesome. It's about the size of my thumbnail. Was he presumably lost? He was killed. Did he live on Woburn Street as well as just? Um, there are three or four, there are at least three, three suite, four suites of families in town. The suites of coal suites and is, oil? Yeah. Um, wow. I don't know if he's related to them. Excuse I don't, me. He's not related to the Thomas Spencer at Parker Tavern. He was at the triangle, you know what the, the Leech Park Triangle is? The house used to be on the west side um, and it was moved to be up where Josh Reeton was, and it was taken down when Josh Reeton's school was built in 1849, uh, 1949, sorry. That is um, so awesome. But it's a, uh, it's called a thumbnail tin type, thumbnail daguerreotype, and the only way we could identify How in heck did you find something that little? Well, it was, it was, was available that an for sale. Shot or something? Uh, yeah, like that. And what oh happened was, God. it was a family album, and when you opened it up, there was a picture of Phoebe Sweetser, who's his youngest sister, Charlie Sweetser, who's his older brother by 15 years that lived around the corner on Main Street, about where the mobile station is now, and Walter S. Parker's two girls, his girl. Oh my Lawrence. God. And so I have all five of those little pictures. I couldn't yes, identify anybody that's else. Something. But that's something. That's just awesome. So we, we actually have a picture of somebody. Now we're taking two copies of it, because one you give to the museum, and the other, there's a, there's a bar at, um, in Chester, um, Montana, where you can go up and pin your picture on the wall. <laughs> and by bringing a picture in of somebody, you get a new beer. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's what I heard anyway. Um, oh, kids, that's just that's great. That's exciting. That's so now, I love it. And yet, yesterday working with that, um, we have some memorabilia at home of uh, Henry Wadwell, who was uh, died in the Civil War. And um, he lived down on Pleasant Street, about where John Street crosses, and um, his sister had two children. Uh, she died 
six days after the second one was born, and the two children were split. And one was raised by the maternal grandparents, and one was made, raised by the um, Smith family. Emerson Smith lived down there. Emerson Smith built part of the stone wall that goes around the um, Laurel Hill Cemetery on Main Street. He oh. could not read, he could not write, a very generous man. Um, he never got paid by the town either. <laughs> that was his big complaint. He could collect with interest. Uh, yeah. There's no family left, uh, not around here anyway. Um, so the situation is they raised the other daughter and um, his own two sons, one was killed in the Civil War and one was killed at uh, Custer's last stand. His name is Emerson Smith. Wow. Oh. Uh, we don't have a picture of him yet, but I'm on the trail of one. So. Oh, this is just so I cool. move we adjourn this meeting. Okay. <laughs> yes. I thought we had. Yeah, so I make it so. Um, 8 6, 8 oh, 6. And I'm going to be away. Exactly. All those in favor. Right, yeah. Happy voyage. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be away in, in uh, July, the first, first 10 days of July. Yeah, so we're, we're excited about it. I think oh, it's my. Yeah. That's awesome. I love this history stuff. I should have brought him in and showed you the picture. I'm such a sucker for it. Wow. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Kim.